What's up River, I'm Andrew Pearl and today are your Friday, October 9th announcements. Tonight we have the Heat vs the Lakers and I personally believe the Lakers will come out with this game. LeBron and AD are going to combine for 60 points and LeBron will win finals MVP. Now I want to coach Mac and then on to the pledge. Good morning Spanish River, I hope everybody's doing well. Obviously I hope everybody's practicing social distancing and doing the right things. Keep working at it, especially if you're on campus here when we're in the courtyard. Please contribute to be making sure that we all stay very healthy. Yesterday, congratulations to the boys golf team, led by Jay Brooks and freshman Michael Feldman. They defeated Park Vista. Congratulations. They're now 2-0. Good luck to the girls golf team. They play their first match of the season today. They're traveling to American Heritage. Um, their first game got rained out earlier this week. If you were looking online yesterday, you realized the girls' volleyball schedule and the boys' football schedule has finally been released. It took a little while, but it did. So it looks like girls' volleyball is going to open up their season on October 27th, and boys' football is going to open up their season on Halloween, October 31st at 2 o'clock at Boca Raton High School. Now, I know there's some questions and concerns about who can go to the games and how big the crowds can be. As we work through this over the next couple of weeks, I would guarantee you I will keep you informed of what's going to happen. All the tickets are going to be purchased online through GoFan.com. So uh, there will be no walk up to the gate and be able to buy your tickets. But like I said, over the next couple of weeks, you'll get more and more information about that. We'll get more information about the pep band, about cheerleading, and everything that goes into making a sporting event an exciting thing. So it's happy Thursday. I hope you guys had a great third week. Make sure you're always doing a great thing to stay healthy. And of course, be a great shark and wear your mask. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, Spanish River. Today is Friday, October 9th. I'm Julia. And I'm Landon, and Julia is going to start you off. State testing is underway and will continue to run through most of the fall. Students who are scheduled to take certain tests will be notified via email and through their second period teacher's Google Classrooms. All the necessary information will be included in the testing notifications. Remember, the electronic device policy has changed. All electronic devices that are not being used for testing must be turned off and placed into your backpack, which will be stored at the front of the room for the duration of the test. Students may absolutely not have a phone or other electronic device on their person or within arm's reach while testing. Students who are caught with an electronic device on their person or within arm's reach while testing will have their test invalidated and will not receive a score. Hey Spanish River, the juniors and sophomores have entered a contest and need your help.
but now we need your help. Like my video. Like my video. Like my video because likes will be considered in the judging process. germs in the car that can increase your chance of spreading COVID-19? So go on to the Spanish River YouTube page and like their videos. Attention 9th and 10th grade students. The PSAT will be given to 9th graders on Tuesday, October 27th and to 10th graders Thursday, October 29th at Spanish River. If you are a remote learner and you want to test, you will have to come to school on test day. The PSAT is free of charge and all 9th and 10th grade students are eligible to take it. However, because of COVID protocols and the planning, you must sign up to take the test. You will find a Google form as well as other information that is important in your English teacher's Google Classroom and on the Spanish River website. You must register using the Google form by October 16th in order to take advantage of this opportunity. Caribbean Club is having a meeting today, Friday, October 9th. If you're interested in joining the club or even just attending the meeting, join the remind code using AEAD94. And now to information on the new club called Fresh Threads. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Fenwick. And my name is Riley Krinsky. And we're the presidents of Fresh Threads. Our goal is to help children succeed in school by providing them with clothing, basic necessities, and school supplies to bring their focus back to learning. One fifth of all the children in Palm Beach County live in poverty and cannot afford adequate clothing for school. This often diminishes their performance and reduces their attendance in school. Fresh Start's mission is to provide a week's worth of clothing twice a year to qualified children in Palm Beach County schools who need our assistance. We hope to build their self-esteem and help them arrive at school ready to learn. We are hosting an event and fundraiser this month called Socktober, where we take donations of new socks, normal socks, or spooky Halloween socks for the kids. We will provide community service hours throughout the school year for certain aspects of your time and dedication. It's the little things that some children take for granted that also make others smile. Text 81010 at Fresh, T-H-R-E, to join our mind and follow our Instagram page at FreshThreads underscore FL to be involved in changing children's lives. So join their mind and send them some fun socks. National Honor Society applications are being reviewed. No need to email guidance or teachers. You will be notified of your acceptance within a few weeks. Please be patient. If you're an existing member of National Honor Society, you can now apply for an officer position. Applications for officers are available on the school website. Any questions, please email Angela Danino at palmbeachschools.org. River, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and SGA is honoring that next week with a Wear a Pink Day. Here's more on that followed by information about Super Club. Are you passionate about human rights, peace, and the environment? Do you want to express all of your opinions in a safe space and earn community service hours? Then this club is perfect for you. In this club, we will be discussing topics such as human rights all around the world, protests, genocide, discrimination, race, religion, the environment, pollution, global warming, peace, world peace, and many more social issues. Our goal is to learn from past events and experiences and make them relevant to today's society. This is a great opportunity to share your opinions and get your voice heard. We're gonna have lots of leadership opportunities and we're gonna have elections sometime this month. We will be having many guest speakers and events soon, so make sure to get involved. Join our mind by texting at S-U-P-H-R-E to 81010. Rise Above Youth is holding an online summit meeting tomorrow from two to four. 
you can register by texting TCIA to 888-111 or visiting www.riseaboveyouth.org. Anyone interested in dual enrollment? PBSC is hosting a virtual dual enrollment open house on October 14th at 6 p.m. To reserve your spot, please visit the link below. Now on to Charlie with the Tiburon Yearbook question of the week. You might be wondering, Charlie, what's the deal with the banana suit? Well, recently, over the course of the many months we've been in quarantine, I've picked up a new hobby. That's becoming one with nature. But what hobbies have you guys picked up? We want to know, and the yearbook wants to know. Send pictures of you doing this new hobby that you've taken up and give us a little info about it. There's a little Google form that you can send pictures and info in on the Tiburon Yearbook Instagram. That's IG at Tiburon.yearbook. Please send that stuff in. We need it. Thank you. Your Common App needs your transcript. Be sure to request your official transcripts from River's website. If you have any questions, please reach out to your counselor. And now to a COVID safety tip, and then to WSRH reporter James with this year's hurricane season. Good morning, Spanish River. Now as Floridians, we all know that hurricane seasons are typically busy, but 2020 has shown us that hurricane seasons can be record breaking. Arthur effectively kicking off the season on May 16th only lasted a few days. This was somewhat early, as hurricane season is supposed to start on June 1st. By July 30th, we had already had nine named storms. One, which was named Hannah, making landfall as a category one in parts of Texas. The next storm, Isaias, which would move very close to South Florida. Having part of South Florida under the cone for a certain amount of time, allowed hurricane warnings to be placed in effect. Residents essentially gathering supplies that would be needed. Luckily, the storm remained offshore. Similar to Dorian in 2019, when it appeared that Dorian would come close to us, it turned to the north. Same thing happened with Isaias due to a trough of pressure in the middle of the country. Hurricane Laura was devastating, blowing up overnight to a Category 4, causing major devastation in parts of Louisiana. Take a look. The tropics were so active this year that at one point, five systems were in the Atlantic at once. Sally, Paulette, Renee, Vicky, and Teddy continuing to move down the list of names. Some experts wondering if we would use the Greek list. The only other time we reached the Greek alphabet for names was 2005. And with the possible storms coming in the next few weeks, hurricane season is far from over, and 2020 has shown us anything is possible. Reporting from Boca Raton, James Silk, WSRA. What's up, Spanish River? I'm your weather girl, Alex Dresner, and guess what? I have news for you, so you better listen. Today is Friday, October 9th. Happy Friday, and there are partly cloudy skies. There's a high of 87 degrees and a low of 80 degrees. There's only a 20% chance of rain today, so it's gonna be a beautiful day out. Humidity is at 70% and wind is up to 15 miles per hour today. Remember, the weather can change in a split second, so keep that in mind, but we'll see you next time. Seniors, it is very important that you book your appointment with your counselor now to review your graduation requirements. You were sent a link through your school email. Have a, Have a wonderful, wonderful day, day everyone. everyone. Catch, Catch up next time with more news. news.